Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here to share with you a new discovery about the Steam Deck which has the potential to change everything we know about its performance. This revelation is all about the Steam Deck's power management system and how we can potentially use custom power profiles to maximise game and battery performance in every situation. This information was provided by YouTuber The Fox. This guy is an inspiration to the handheld gaming community and I advise you to check out his video on this topic. Please check the link in the description for more information. The Fox recently emailed a bunch of questions to Valve, including this one here. Is there a way for an individual to specify TDP, or is this supposed to be handled manually? They replied, The plan is to have built-in software that tries to do exactly what you have described. It will be open source and interfaces will be well documented, so enthusiasts will always be able to take clocks TDP into their own hands if they wish. Let me give you some background information about why this is important. One of the main issues that portable PC gaming devices has is its power management system. If you can manually change computer settings to do with the TDP, the GPU and the CPU, then you can dramatically increase game frame rates and battery performance. For example, in the Fox's video, he is demonstrating the Aya Neo, which is a similar handheld PC to the Steam Deck that uses a previous generation of AMD APU. He demonstrates that small tweaks in the TDP, CPU and GPU settings can make a huge difference in performance. For example, here is showing Street Fighter V running on the left at 49.1 frames per second at 5 watt TDP. However, on the right, he has manually adjusted the GPU clock to 372 megahertz and raised the frame rate to 60 frames per second without drawing any extra power. These kinds of tweaks are going to be absolutely invaluable on the Steam Deck and Valve is showing that they are committed to developing an open source solution for us to play with. This opens up the possibility of crowdsourcing community tweaks so that game profiles could be set up with specific TDP, GPU and CPU clock speeds. For example, we could get a profile that plays Doom Eternal but maximizes battery life. Or another profile could maximize performance for Crusader Kings 3 while stocked to a monitor. Potentially these community profiles could be downloaded as part of Steam in the same way the Steam Controller community profiles are shared. Or alternatively, the community could develop an open crowdsource tool to share these power profiles. So anyway, one of the most exciting things about the Steam Deck is the fact that we could not only get Get a very powerful handheld PC gaming device, but also one that is always reaching its peak potential no matter what situation we are gaming in, whether it's to maximize performance or battery life. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.